Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. And today I am doing something a little bit different. I'm actually doing my first lookbook. I used to do outfits of the day all the time, which I guess is similar, but only one outfit. Today I'm gonna to show you several outfits. I have this rolling rack full of clothes. <laughs> Uh, and I want to thank Go To Hell Girl. She actually suggested this to do a gothic summer lookbook. And a lot, a lot of my friends and the people that I enjoy watching here on YouTube also do these summer or lookbooks in general and have done summer lookbooks. And they were all inspiration as well. But I'm just specifically doing it because Go To Hell Girl suggested it. <laughs> and. So I guess we'll just start with what I'm wearing right now. And I know I've mentioned this in the past, but the reason that I, I rarely so show <laughs> the reason that I rarely show shoes is because I have arthritis in my feet and I basically I just wear this one pair of shoes I have with everything. These are by Allegra and they are sort of an orthopedic shoe, but they have little skull buckles. <laughs> it's a little um, Velcro closure, but it has a little skull buckle on them. So I was able to find really comfortable orthopedic shoes with a little bit of gothic flair to them. <laughs> so I can be comfortable. I do occasionally still wear, because I can wear up to a, a small tiny heel like this. And I will occasionally wear something like this, but not for very long. If it's an event that I know I won't have to do much walking or dancing at, I will wear something like this. But it's just, I'll pay for it later, even if I don't walk or, you know, stand in the much. My feet will just cramp up like mad later. So, but I still occasionally will do that. But this is what I wear pretty much all the time on the regular. In the summer, I don't wear tights as often unless it's the evening. I'll wear, I'll wear fishnets if I'm going out for dinner and drinks and that sort of thing. But normally I will just wear these socks. Let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see them here. So yeah, this is pretty much the shoes that I will wear with just every outfit, no matter how casual or dressy these socks and these shoes when I'm not wearing fishnets. But I guess I will, what I'll do is I'll try each outfit on for you, discuss all the components of the outfit, and we can move on to the next outfit. And in the summer, again, since I don't wear fishnets or tights, except for maybe in the evening uh, for dinner or drinks, I always wear some sort of shorts underneath my dresses because, you know, I'm a fluffier girl and I, I, I get a lot of, what do they call that, chub rub? So that takes care of friction burns. So uh, I'll wear bloomers or shorts and I have different ones that match different styles of outfit. But for something casual like this, I would just do these plain little, almost biker shorts. Now this first dress is from Cow Cow, which is a brand I mentioned in my Shop My Closet video. And we'll get closer here. I don't know if you can see this. It is a chain mail print. It's printed to look like chain mail. So obviously I had to have that because that's just awesome and hilarious. And then the little shrug here on top with the sheer sleeves that this is from Killstar. And of course I made the necklace, which is in my Etsy, listed in my Etsy if you're interested. I'll link my Etsy down below. And if I can find any of the Amazon pieces, I will put associate links down in the description box below. But I'm not, I haven't seen this print in a long time, so I'm not sure that I can find it. But if I can, there'll be a link down below. So I guess we'll just move on to a new outfit. So here is our second outfit. This is just a nice casual run around outfit. Do a lot of these just simple skirt and t-shirt sort of things. This t-shirt is from a company called Rat Baby and I have no idea where I got it. <laughs> and I'm wearing underneath it one of those strappy Killstar bras. And then with the skirt is actually uh, from, from Amazon. It is by that company Fun House, which I've shown some things here before. I actually bought a dress from them that wound up ripping at the seams. So I had to return it. But the skirt's really nice and I, I enjoy that. It has like a solid black bit to it. And then underneath this, I'm actually wearing my normal bloomers. And these have a little bit of puff to them. So since this skirt has a little bit more weight to it, I can wear the puffier bloomers with it. The other skirt, since it's that thin 
swimsuitish material. I couldn't re really wear the poofy bloomers under, which is why I had to wear more of those bike short style bloomers. So this is the second outfit. I feel like you're not seeing the whole outfit. I'm gonna have to adjust this camera angle when we move on to the third outfit. So here we have, it's uh, one of my favorite just base dresses. It's a, a little like spaghetti strap dress and it has pockets, which of course is why I love it so much. It's just a plain black simple dress. I have no idea what brand it is, just some random uh, brand. I don't even remember where I got this. I've had it for so long. I, I might have even gotten it in the real world at like a TJ Maxx or Ross or something like that or Gabriel Brothers. I used to shop at Gabriel Brothers all the time. So that's a possibility. <laughs> so I do have that dress, which is a base for a lot of my outfits. And then I threw over it again. This is by that Rat Baby Company, the same company that made that last little t-shirt. And it's just a super cropped. It goes to like kind of just under uh, my, my chest. So I would not wear a cropped top like that just cropped because you know my own insecurities has nothing to do with whether or not I can. <laughs> I just would not be comfortable in that. However, I can throw it over a dress like this and I really like the way that looks. It's super cute and easy and comfortable and just for running around. I added the spiked headband I did get from Shein and I am still wearing those more floofy bloomers and I don't think I mentioned the bloomers actually came off of Etsy but it was a really long time ago so I would have no idea if that particular seller even still exists <laughs> but just just shot um search Etsy for bloomers and I'm sure you could probably find an identical pair because they're very just basic bloomers so that is that outfit and I guess we'll move on to a new one our next outfit is this little Killstar dress. It's one of their burnout velvet dresses. I'm actually standing on a little stool to, that seems to actually show you my whole outfit for once. <laughs> I am wearing underneath it a one of those strappy Killstar bras. It's the velvet bra with a thick waist or you know, band, thick lace band. And I chose that to wear under this because this has this really low cut thing. But then if you just see the lace behind it, in an odd way, it makes it a little more conservative, but also um, a little less <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so that is this outfit. Let's see if I can do a turn on the stool without dying. <laughs> and oh, I for totally forgot to mention, I'm actually going on my first mini vacation in July. I'm uh, just, just a weekend with my uh, best friend. Uh, I've known her for well over 20 years. <laughs> but it's her birthday is July 8th. My birthday is June 27th. So in the past, we've occasionally celebrated our birthday together. And uh, she wanted to go to Philadelphia for her birthday. So I was like, sure, why not? Let's go to Philadelphia. So I'm going to be doing that in July. And uh, these outfits are actually also what I'm going to be wearing because we're going to be doing like museums during the day and then uh, we're going with two other close friends that I've known forever and uh, we'll be doing cocktail bars and hopefully finding some dance clubs in the evening so hopefully by July and in Philadelphia all that will be available to us I feel like it will be because everything's opening up now like here in Virginia our local club has just reopened the dance floor finally you have to wear your mask on the dance floor but it, it's open, so we can dance again. <laughs> so that's awesome. But I guess we'll just, um, so yeah, this would be another outfit. This would be a, again, a no tight, so more casual daytime running around sort of outfit. And we'll move on to a new one. So this next outfit, I'm thinking for like an evening outfit, dinner, drinks, that sort of thing. And this is a Hearts and Roses London dress. And I used to get a lot of Hearts and Roses London dresses from Zulily. Not, not to be confused with Rose Lily. Zulily is an American based like TJ Maxx online type site. But they haven't had um, any of their events for Hearts and Roses London lately. So I haven't, haven't gotten any new ones lately. But I have a whole bunch of them. I probably don't need any more. <laughs> but th that is this dress. I think it's really pretty. It's a brocade. has this nice little collared neckline, which I think gives it maybe a touch of uh, more dressiness. 
and I paired that with this chainmail collar which is not available <laughs> in my Etsy. This is one of the pieces that I keep for myself. <laughs> and once again I'm standing on that stool so let me do a twirl for you and not fall over. So let's try another outfit. This next outfit is the skirt, I can't remember the name of the company it's from, but it's from that website Ghoulish Girls. I, I did a haul from them um, a little bit back, and this was the skirt uh, that I did get from that haul. It has spikes here across the front of the waistline, and I paired that with this little coffin shirt with white tie by Folter. And this was off of Amazon, but I don't think it's available anymore. But it's super cute, and I think it goes really cute with this little skirt. And I, I didn't show you with the other ones, but I was still wearing <laughs> some sort of short under the other ones as well. And these are my little purple ruffled ones. I actually have these in several different colors, white, red. Uh, I don't know if I ever got the black ones. I might not have because all my other like biker short and regular bloomers are in black. But so that's... They have a nice slim profile for this slim A-line skirt. And I think this is just a cute outfit for like a day at the museum or lunch or something like that. And a little spin. And let's see what else we have. So for the next outfit, I still have that same skirt, but then I changed it into two. This little top that I found on Amazon, this was uh, one of those Killstar ripoffs. It has the Velvet Burnout Cthulhu pattern on it. I don't remember where the Cthulhu is, but I know there's one right here somewhere. <laughs> but this is something that I would put on for later in the evening if we were going out to get drinks or go dancing. So that, that would be more for that. Again, I'm wearing the little purple ruffled shorts underneath. And for a bra, I'm actually wearing what I call the, the chicken cutlet bra. It's like those two silicone sticky cups that don't really give support. They just pull everything together. <laughs> but it works. So I, I, I could wear a bra, but then I'd have extra straps and I just didn't want to do that. I, I thought we would just go strapless. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, we only have one more. We're almost done. <laughs> and my final outfit for my summer goth lookbook is my ivory dress because <laughs> you can't let, you can't get too predictable. You gotta throw them off occasionally and throw in an ivory dress. <laughs> Plus ivory dress is awesome for picnics and outdoor things like going for walks and stuff. I even have a little matching white ruffle <laughs> Uh, um, bloomers for this. These bloomers, like I said, have a lot of colors. Them. They're actually for square dancing. <laughs> so they're, they're meant to be seen. <laughs> and this dress is actually really cool. It has a layer of mesh underneath the layer of eyelet lace. So perfect for the summer and just absolutely beautiful and adorable. And like I said, don't be predictable. <laughs> Give them a little extra every now and then. <laughs> So I guess that's my um, summer lookbook. I'm sure I'll do more. Um, hopefully I can figure out a better way to do them. I feel like this was a little cramped. Like when I take photos in this room, it's fine because I can just, you know, edit out the walls and the floor and the stuff. But I guess this is fine. Oh yeah, the stress <laughs> likes to to pop open so if I'm really wearing it I actually have to put a safety pin underneath it to keep the buttons from popping open and you know showing them a little too much <laughs> but that that's that's my summer lookbook I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> please let me know what you thought of the uh, outfits down in the comments below um, oh this dress is from corset story a very long time ago, Corset Story would have the most amazing clearance sales. And I got this dress for like 20 bucks at one of those clearance sales. So, <laughs> a lot of places used to have the most amazing clearance sales and they just don't anymore. <laughs> but, oh yeah. So, <laughs> so, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can give it a thumbs down. And please tell me all about it in the comments below. Also, give me some suggestions on how you'd like me to do these lookbooks better like I'm not sure what to do maybe I 
it would involve waking up during the day I could do outside because I know a lot of people do outside and that's always really pretty but I'm not I'm usually filming these at like two in the morning <laughs> so that's it's a little harder for me to do with my, my schedule but I don't know I don't know how how can I do these lookbooks better for you and was this one okay did you enjoy it at least and uh, yeah, again, just tell me down in the comments below what you think of my summer golf looks. And I hope everyone is just having a wonderful day and staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.